or I, 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 I tried, I tried like crazy, and uh, and and it worked. So uh, we uh, we have got quite the deal today. This thing, this is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting today. Oh, um, we have we have got all sorts of different things. Uh, apparently, next week is the Super Bowl. Which means Probably. that God knows if I'll be able to find a guest. But if not, we're just going to do our thing. Um, we have got the great uh, Samantha with us today. She's hey. got her cool rocking chair, which is always awesome. Yeah. And then uh, and then we have Jay and her weird backgrounds and just all, all sorts of things. And hey, tell me when I can do a, a show and tell. What? Your you have show a show and, and tell. tell. Well, you might as well do it now since point. since 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 you've Uh oh. Apparently You're Samantha right? must have a show and tell as well. What? Or is she being assassinated? Let let yeah, let, 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 let let's hope she's not being assassinated. She was just getting the door for someone. But uh <laughs> on the show, so I wore Samantha's favorite t-shirt. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> but, okay, so look, check this out. Okay. My brand new knife, it is a mermaid. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> what is that? It's a mermaid. Can you see the mermaid? Yes. Oh, I see. It's got That's, a... a... <laughs> That's quite the deal. This is, I just got in the mail. Oh, I like that mermaid. Okay. So, She's a uh, sharp one. Yes, I'm a mermaid author, so I need to have a mermaid knife. You need to have a mermaid right. knife. Now, uh, Samantha, um, I'm going to give you four cities, and I want you to tell me which one you are closest to. Okay. Because I may need to get you a press pass for something. Okay. So, I, I know you're, you're probably not near, near Washington, D.C., are you? No, no, that's no. way. You okay. Know. Yeah, you know, I'm in Seattle, Washington. So. Okay. Uh, Edison, New Jersey. You're probably not near Edison. That's all. Awesome. You know that it's a shame because I used to be near all those. I used to be 20 minutes away from DC. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, and I know you're probably not near Miami, Florida at all. No, but that's on my bucket list to go to Florida. So okay. I got, I got a lot of friends in Tampa, so they want me to come down. Oh, okay. Too. I thought maybe they were gonna they were gonna send you to, to a developmental, and you were, you you were you were gonna end up in in, in NXT. Um, we, we need to plan a double date. Yeah. So so you're probably not near Chicago, Illinois, then. Yeah, that's like that's like what Midwest, you know. So dang. Yeah. Okay, you're not near any of these spots. That means I need to fly out. Well, Apparently. what's going down? Well, Exotica, of course, has announced all their dates. Oh, uh -huh. they are going to be in Chicago, which actually it's Rosemont, Illinois, but whatever. Chicago, <laughs> July sixteenth through the eighteenth. I thought it was April. No, they've moved it now to July. Oh God! Probably because of this. Probably because of this COVID stuff. Probably the COVID. Sure. And uh, then. Miami, Florida is September 17th through the 19th. Mm -hmm. And then Edison, New Jersey is October 22nd through the 24th. And I've told Michael Nagy that if he can help me make enough money on Robin Hood, um, <laughs> I, will use, I will use that money to go to Edison, New Jersey. Um, right. And then in Washington, D.C. is December 3rd through the 5th. Okay. So, and apparently ladies are in free on Friday, whatever that means. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh so. I get in free Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what I was hoping was, uh, you could meet, either meet us in Chicago in July or. Uh, I would get you in with a press pass and you could go to Edison, New Jersey and hang out with Michael Nagy. So <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't right? sure what you wanted to do. I think she needs me to be her bodyguard with Michael Nagy. <laughs> He'd be, he would be a little bit excited, wouldn't he? <laughs> he a, little, a little German chocolate by his side. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, see, in in Chicago, we have been invited to a uh, to the set of a uh, of a porn film that's being filmed apparently that weekend. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that's going to be like. Um, let's you see. That and I'm going to take Sam, and we're going to go to dinner, movie, and then I'm going to rub her feet. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. It is it is it is gonna be quite the deal, but I am gonna mm-hmm. see if I can get our first guest here. He of course will not talk to us on Skype. He will talk to us only on the phone. <laughs> Which is mm-hmm. ridiculous to me. In oh, the man. age of technology. <laughs> he don't want to be seen. <laughs> no, apparently he doesn't want to be seen, or he can't be seen, or somebody's seen, or they need to be seen. Jimmy, how are you, sir? Hey, James Lowe, how are you? <laughs> how are you? We have got Jimmy Parker with us today. We also have our, our good buddies, Jay Bird Wells and the great Samantha. Uh, Samantha, of course, is uh, like a, let's see. I, I I used I used my two Katoalisms earlier, so I have to use a third one with her. I guess she's she's like a grilled cheese in a Cadillac, stylish but yet classy. Okay. And uh, <laughs> chocolate German chocolate cake. She's like Boom. German chocolate there you go. cake. My favorite, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, how about you get on the video so you can see? See, Hello? I wish I I I can't get Skype to work on my oh. computer here. Oh, well, Jimmy, man. tell I me. A, I have a Macintosh, and that Skype is built for the Microsoft, and I'm having problems with it. Well, that's fine. Uh-oh. That's fine. So, 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 Jimmy. Well, I can smell it. Oh, wow. It. He can oh, smell it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy Parker get, getting it going early here. So, um, right, there you go. <laughs> so, so, Jimmy, tell me and the ladies here a little bit about yourself. Well, I am a male. <laughs> start off with that. No, I um, I'm a country music singer. I'm a former school teacher, uh, army veteran. Uh, grew up and was raised, and I grew up in Virginia. And then I, after I joined the army, got out and I started pursuing music. And I finally moved into Nashville in 1990. Been here ever since, and. Uh, I've done everything on my own independently of the major music industry and um, and have promoted myself. I've really never had a manager or anything. I've just done everything myself. I'm a down-to-earth human being. What you see is what you get. And I'm trusting the Lord God up above. And, uh, and just I love everybody. I love being an American, and uh, I'm just a, a down-to-earth guy, I think. so. That's awesome. Pretty much that. That's anymore. awesome. <laughs> so uh, you have won a couple of awards fairly recently. Talk to us about your, uh, are they Josie Music Awards? I'm probably going to butcher that. Yes, the Josie Music Awards. Uh, they've been around since 2016, and they have really, really grown into a uh, pretty much a major independent awards uh, uh, network. And uh I've won four uh, Entertainer of the Year awards with them since 2016. I've won three Video of the Year. Um, I've won a Song of the Year, which was this past year, uh, for a song called Live Before I Die. And um, I was also, they inducted me into their Independent Country Music Hall of Fame in 2018. And um, that I'm, I'm just I'm just really happy being associated with them. I get to meet a lot of musicians from not only just the country but around the world. I mean, they they got people from around the world that will fly to come to their award shows, and um, they always have great crowds and and everything. And they do a lot for the independent artists, uh, getting them exposed and getting them out there and getting them heard. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, Jay, I know you probably got some questions for for Jimmy. How how long have you been doing this? I mean, did you start in music in in high school, college? Well, uh, when I was six years old, I used to copy my dad on the piano. He played by ear, 
and I would just kind of like watch what he was doing. And then after he got up and left to go to another room, I'd sit down and I'd start trying to play like he did. And they, uh, he and my mom noticed I had some talent towards that, so they put me in with a uh, piano teacher, and I took lessons for six years up until I was 12 years old, played recitals and concerts and everything like that uh, at that age, you know, school concert type things. And um, then uh, I figured out when I was around 13 that a guitar was a lot easier to carry around than a big old upright piano back in them days and uh, so I, I learned how to strum and and pick a little bit on the guitar and uh, I went, I've done electric guitar and mostly what I do now is just acoustic to back myself up with uh, just a rhythm acoustic rhythm guitar and uh, but I've been doing this all my life I've been involved with music to some extent um, even in the army, I played uh, some music around, and even did some acting and some theater groups uh, when I was in the army. And that that kind of turned me on to acting. But I got out of the army, played up and down the East Coast a little bit, and I finally moved to uh, uh, Nashville in 1990. I uh, got married, met my wife the first night I was here, and uh, and of course she died in 2003. And I and and from 1996 to 2003, she was bedridden with a terrible uh, lung disease. Uh, mm. She had uh, uh, pulmonary fibrosis, and I eventually took her life. But that whole time, from 96 to 2003, uh, I was out of the music business completely. I didn't even sing. I didn't play the guitar. It was all I put it up in my closet and everything. I got another job to take care of her. Then about 2004, I sat down with my guitar and I wrote a song called Warm Love. It was about feeling her spirit around me at nighttime when I was sleeping. And um, anyway, that kind of took off and here I am today. I've been doing it uh, since then full time, basically, you know, other than teaching school. But when I retired from teaching, I, I became a full time musician, singer and all. And I've been at it ever since. Tell me more about your song. You said something about living after surviving? No, live before I die. Um, you're talking about the song that I, I won the Song of the Year award for? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's called Live Before I Die. That was a song that was written by Delyn Martin. She lives near Nashville. She's in uh, Clarksville, Tennessee. And um, her publisher uh, pitched it to me. And um, and I was, uh, you know, collecting songs for albums and stuff like that. But anyway, I um, heard it, and I, wrote, I got back with the publisher, and I said, that song's good. I mean, are you really sure you want me to do it? That thing should be out there. And I said, I'm not out there like a big-time artist, you know. I'm, I'm, I've got my following and my fan base and everything around the country because I travel, but, you know, the uh that song is this awesome no we want you to do it we think you got the voice to sing it and uh i went from there put it out and it was number one for like 19 weeks and in the top three for like 28 weeks on a independent country music chart down in georgia and uh, i think that helped it uh when the uh 2020 uh, song of the year award and it's just a great song i have people still um talking to me about that song how they how it has helped their life especially during the COVID uh shutdowns and everything like that um how it's touched them and how much it means to them and and so i uh the latest album i just put out uh i use that song as the title of the album live before i die awesome awesome well we are going to do this uh we are going to play some of your music here my friend uh, okay. By the way, how do we get in touch with you on social media, websites, all these things, man? Okay, I have a major website, an official website. It's jimmyparkermusic.com. Um, I have several pages. It's got a, it tells a little bit about my acting. I've got some videos with my music, uh, some of my live performances. Not a whole lot, but some. Um, a little bit of history, my bio, uh, the awards that I've won, uh, you know, it's pretty much all my music and and acting stuff that I've done uh, basically since 2004. And um, it's got a guest book on there where you can 
go in and leave a message for me if you like. Um, I do also do a fan of the month page on there. So every month I select somebody off of my Facebook uh, thing for fan of the month. And I put their picture up and proclaim them to be like for this month uh, coming up, it would be uh, February 2021 20, fan of the month, such and such and, uh, and all that. But that's uh, my official website. I am on Twitter. Uh, JP, I think it's JP three seven three seven two one six. Okay, um, I'm on Reverb Nation, uh, Jimmy Parker, YouTube. You can find me. I believe that one is JP three seven two one six. And um, I've got YouTube. I've got Facebook. You can go to Parker's Jukebox and like that page. That's my Facebook like page. Uh, my, my personal page is basically still, I do a lot of my music on that and tell jokes every now and then. <laughs> 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 well, we are we are going to do this. We are going to do Live Before I Die, and I'm going to put you guys on hold. And uh, okay. as always, the, who knows what Jay and Sam will talk about with Jimmy during the break. <laughs> I'm ready. But I'm ready. Uh, here we go. It is <laughs> Live I'm Before ready. I I'm Die. Ready. And it's here on the Sunday Radio Broadcast, 990 WBOB, and of course, iHeartRadio, AMFM, 247.com. Maybe. I want to spend these precious days with those that I hold. Live in the moment And let go of my fears I want to dance to the music Each and every day Hold on to the feeling Before it slips away Stand on a hilltop With open arms I will sing I'll reach for the heavens And touch the angels' wings A lifetime's gone in a minute Won't let the world pass me by if I get knocked to the ground, well, I'll stand tall again and try. Spread my wings and fly Soar across the sky I want to live before I die
Wow. That is Jimmy Parker. And, uh... Just like a gerbil in a batting cage, it's the Jiggy Jaguar experience. You're gonna love it. Yes, we are gonna love it. So, let's go back to Jimmy Parker. He's got like a, um... I don't know what he's got. He's got a great sound. J B or V? No, it's J A E. <laughs> I knew I was gonna walk into something. Okay, J A E. Yeah. I, I see J B Wells the fourth. Well, that's my fourth account. <laughs> that's her like her fourth account. <laughs> she has several. She's got many. <laughs> Oh, I see the third now. I see the third. Yeah, yeah that's me. So the we're third. already friends, so I don't have to add you on my other account. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. We've got Jimmy Parker with us today. Sure. City the Great is coming up here in just a few moments. But uh, so, Jimmy, this uh, this song that we just played is tremendous, as the great Star Maker Bolin would say. Um, wh 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 where do you see your music career heading, my friend? Well, I'm just happy to survive with it and maintain it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm 71 years old. I'll be 72 in June. So I don't anticipate anybody from downtown Nashville on the on Music Road coming up and say, yeah, we want to sign you to a contract. <laughs> I don't anticipate that, and I've never looked for it. Once I started doing this independently, I said, I'm going to do it my way uh, or the highway. It's, I'm going to do the music that I love, that I write, or that other people write for me, and I'm going to let the chips fall where they may. If they want me downtown, they know where to find me. And that's how, <laughs> that's that's how I do awesome. it. So, That's Jimmy, awesome. what is the legacy that you want to people to remember you by? What, what do you want? to be known as um as a person who who um uh, was was real wasn't fake um i wasn't somebody out there doing it just for the fame and glory that um but i was real that's like one of the cds that i put out uh my producer titled it for me he told me he said you're the real deal man he said there's nobody like you you're the real deal and uh i just want to be known if if I was to pass, you know, I, I'm sure I won't be. But <laughs> but um, if I pass, I'd like this people to say, yeah, he was a real person. He was down to earth, real a real person, and and never hated anybody, and and and, and you know just got along with everybody that I, he knew. So that's how I would like to be remembered. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, uh, as we wrap up here, Samantha, do you have any 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 final questions or anything for Jimmy? All right. Are you looking forward to uh, things opening back up and maybe just stepping you out better and performing? Believe it. You better believe it. I've lost fourteen road shows this past year, mm. and uh, I've I've substituted them for my Facebook uh, live performances. I've done like twenty. 28, 29 Facebook live shows since the COVID. Mm -hmm. And I've done those on weekends. And uh, I've had a few road trips, but not many. But um, I am hoping so much that we open up later, or a little bit later this spring, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I can get the shows going again and get it, get back out there on the road. Because I don't play a lot anywhere here in Nashville. Um, it's a club circuit. And I'm, I don't want to end up in a bar room, if that's makes any sense to you <laughs> yeah i got you if you do i want to sit there and listen to you if i do what if you do end up in a bar room playing i want to listen well you could you'd have to come in there and listen then i'm playing what? actually i'm doing a <laughs> show actually here in nashville on friday night the 5th of february i'm having my cd release party to live before i die cd and um, that's going to be in a place called John A's here in Nashville. But if that was JB talking to me, um, you're from Wichita, Kansas. Uh, you'd have to come a long ways to see that show. Yeah, well, I was just there. That, that, that's what sucks. I was just in Nashville three, four days ago. Oh, my gosh, you should have hollered at me. I'd have come see you. Oh. 
<laughs> I will have to next time. Well, uh, all right. Well, well, Jimmy, I appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for doing this, and uh, we Thank will. You for me. I appreciate it. We will definitely talk to you soon. Thank you, sir. Okay. God bless all of you. Appreciate you it. Too. Appreciate it. There he goes, uh, Jimmy Parker, and uh, he, of course, is a the award-winning Jimmy Parker, and uh, the not-so-winning. Jay Bird Wells is with us. No, I just, I just had, to, I just had, to, I just had to make that transition. She's got her knife. That's part of the reason why she has a knife. Uh, oh, hell, hell, hell of a deal, as they say. Yeah. Uh, so, City the Great is going to be with us here in just a few moments, mm -hmm. and uh, he is fantastic. And yes, he, uh, is. he is calling us right now. So let me see if I can add him to the mix. We'll see if I can add him to the mix. There he oh, is. Hey. Holy smokes. Hey. He's like a... Uh, we'll, 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 use, we'll use a good Katoalism on City the Great yeah, because he kind of scares the crap out of me. Uh, he's... he's, he's, he's a factory. Whatever you say, he is not that. He's like a dog in a sander. He's here. No. No. <laughs> I, don't know. I was gonna say gerbil in a batting cage, but I used that one already. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Damn. So, City the Great, uh, how are you, sir? Feeling good, man. I'm blessed. I'm so, blessed. Uh, so tell me. What's up, fam? The spam right here. <laughs> Certified family. Certified nation entertainment, yes. So, uh, All right. City, you are the man. Uh, tell us a little bit about your, well, first of all, before we get started, Jay always likes to stalk our guests. So how do we find you on social media, websites, get your music, everything? City the Great. That's all you need. You can find me <laughs> everywhere. You can find me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter. Facebook, Spotify, iTunes, Pandora, YouTube, anywhere. You know, just type in City the Great. Awesome. Okay. I need to point out that I passed the stalking baton to Samantha. So, <laughs> each one who on this show is going to start stalking guests. <laughs> well, because this is already fam. I can't stalk them. We're working together. I'm, I'm, this, I'm the publicist of the company, so... I already have that access. You know. <laughs> so, uh, so City, t tell us a little bit about your background, man. Well, you know, um, City the Great, as you know, Brooklyn's finest. Um, first artist under the legendary Special Ed labels, Simi Records, stands for Special Ed Music Incorporated. Um, 